In this video series, we look at job descriptions and some of the keywords we can find, such as this one, full stack, full stack. Who is a full stack developer? What is full stack? Looking at the, the three IT layers, front-end, back-end and uh, storage, we can see that this is, this is the most common you know, stack, you know, the front-end, back-end and storage. This is the stack. So who is a full-stack developer? Let's look at it right now. So someone who can work with both front-end and back-end and storage systems is, is literally a full-stack developer because he or she doesn't specialize. A front-end developer specializes on front-end. A back-end developer specializes on back-end. A storage database developer specializes on, on database development. But a full-stack developer doesn't really specialize. Uh, he or she uh, works with front-end and back-end and database. A full-stack developer could be, for example, in a startup. Uh, one of the first developers or a, or a CTO in a small startup you know, is a full-stack developer. I, I was a CTO in a fast-growing startup. I was the first uh, developer in a company, so I was working on both front-end, actually developed both web and mobile apps. I developed back-end APIs. I took care of uh, servers and um, you know setting up a DevOps environment. I took off the database. I took care of uh, the databases. Uh, so so as a you know as a, as a full-stack developer, you can literally do. Um, you know, all the tasks across uh, front-end, back-end and storage uh, systems. You can set up servers. It's not rocket science. However, you cannot really go, go deep enough to specialize. So a full-stack developer has a broad overview, but, you know, not, not deep, deep uh, knowledge in any of those areas. And this was, for example, my case. I like to learn about all these areas. Like, hey, how can I build mobile apps? How can I build... Um, First, cross-platform app, cross-platform, and then I build uh, native apps, native apps, yeah, native apps on iOS and Android. I, I also uh, built APIs uh, in different languages, for example, first PHP, then in Node.js, um, we've also built APIs in, uh, in Golang, in Python. So you have different languages for different purposes. Like here for web uh, front-end, we use, for example, JavaScript. I'll type JS only, JavaScript. Um, uh, some of the frameworks, for example, jQuery. So a full-stack developer can literally understand and work with all these technologies, set up DevOps environment, work with PHP on the backend or Node.js with uh, relational relational or non-relational database, non-relational database, I'll just type it uh, like this. So relational and non-relational database, relational, for example, MySQL, non-relational, for example, uh, MongoDB. So a full stack developer has a broad overview and can apply um, or fix any of those problems, cannot, most likely cannot really, really advise uh, the, the best practice in, in uh, a specific problem in a specific area. But that's why we have specialized front-end developers, uh, for example. So looking at the full-stack application developer job description, we can see here they only require knowledge of uh, Node.js, uh, JavaScript runtime, or other language equivalents. Well, Node.js and JavaScript, that's, uh, that's pretty much uh, it. Oh yeah, here they also um, say we, we prefer if the candidate would know TypeScript, which is, uh, which is similar, very similar to JavaScript. Uh, it's more um, like um, it, it uses some, some specific types. Now looking at the full stack developer, uh, you, need to, you need to keep in mind which environment a full-stick developer is really uh, good at. So I would say in a startup environment, really great. Uh, I, wouldn't, um, I wouldn't suggest uh, a full-stick developer to a corporation because he may uh, get bored. In a corporation, usually they, um, they, they focus on a specific area, like you, know, you can have a tester 
uh, on front end only, or you can have a tester on back end only, which is a small sub segment. While the full stack developer is usually keen to absorb new information and learn uh, from you know different different sources. So it's also good to keep in mind uh, what kind of environment the full stack developer uh, is keen to work at. All right. So with that, I'll I'll wrap it up here. I suggest you guys uh, keep asking questions below this video so I can see what is not clear and what to improve. And with that, let me wrap it up. I suggest uh, you uh, follow this uh, YouTube channel so uh, you can also learn how to hire developers with confidence.